Okay, so I'm going to be using a, this 22 bolt action rifle and uh, just a standard 40 grain uh, round nose lead bullet. And uh, we're going to be shooting this at uh, 30 yards. So I'm going to go over to the firing line and we're going to fire it. Okay, so I just checked the bottle, poured all the water out, and the bullet's not in there. So it must have bounced off the fourth. So let's move on to the pocket Remington now. All right, so now we got the Remington pocket revolver loaded up with about 15 grains of powder, 39 inch, 319 inch diameter round ball, and we're at three yards, and uh, we're gonna see what kind of penetration it gives. So here we go. Pass through all four jugs, no problem. Wow. That, that totally surprised me. I didn't think it would go through that many. Okay, so that last attempt, I uh, went through all four jugs, no problem. We set up a few more jugs, and uh, let's see if one of these will catch the bullet. So we're at three yards once again, and uh, let's give this a try. All right, so here's the first bottle. Took a beating, went right through that, no problem. Uh, went to this next one. I don't know why it's not leaking, but went through that bottle. As you can see. Went to this one. This is the third. Complete pass through. We entered the fourth. Exited the fourth. But it didn't go into this jug. So we found that went through uh, four jugs and it bounced off the fifth. So. That's pretty good for this gun. Uh, I had another video where I did a penetration when I was comparing the Colt Walker and the Remington Pocket Revolver and with the tank grain charge, it didn't have very much oomph. It just went through like one bottle. So, goes to show that it's a useful weapon and uh, uh, when you load it off the gun like I was doing just now, it gives you, it allows you to put more powder in. So, hope you liked the video, hope you found this informative and uh, let me know what you thought of the video down below in the comment section. And uh, until next time, have a good day.